Good morning, everybody. This is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. Please give me a thumb up and subscribe to the video. So today we're going to talk about how to connect your World TV On Demand media player to your Wi-Fi or to your Internet. So I'm going to show you step by step on a computer screen how to do that. And that way you won't have any issues. But if you do have issues, you can always call me at the number and I can walk you through step by step on how to connect to the internet if you buy your media player from me. So let's go to the computer screen and I'll show you how to do that. So when you first plug in your box it's going to come to this screen and the temperature up here is going to be incorrect and the time up in the right hand corner will be incorrect. Now when you're connected to the internet, you'll know you're connected because the time will be correct and your weather will come up. So in order to connect with Wi-Fi, you mouse over to programs. And on my media player, you have to choose Open Elect. So click on Open Elect underneath Programs. And now you're going to get this option page. Now if you're connecting to the network with an Ethernet cable, you can highlight where it says Network and come over here where it says Wired Networks and you click and make that blue. And that way it will connect when you plug the Ethernet cable into the media player. Now if you're going to connect with Wi-Fi, you just go down one here where it says Connections. And now what it's doing, it's populating or searching for Wi-Fi connections as you mouse over the connections. They won't show automatically. You have to wait for them to populate. It's searching for them. My box is hooked up with, uh, with a wired connection. So you can see where it says ready at, at the state. It says ready. So in order to demonstrate, I'm going to go back and I'm going to uncheck that box. And now I'm going to go down where it says connections and see, wait for it to populate the available networks. Okay, now when your connections are populated and it finds your internet connections, mine is the top one here, and it says idle because it's not connected. So you just click in that on that uh, where it says CenturyLink on mine. I don't know what yours will be named. It'll be different. You just click on it and it says connect. Now here it's going to ask you to put in the password. And you just, uh, whatever your password is, you put it in and then you click done. Now it goes through some settings, says it's configurating, configuring, and then the state is ready. After it's ready, you simply go up here and click the X, and now your clock's correct, your temperature's correct, and you're connected to the Internet. So now I'm going to go back to Programs and Configuration, and because I like mine wired, because I'm setting up a lot of boxes, I like the wired connection better. I'm just going to cl click on Wired Connection, and then when I go back here, it says I'm wi it's Wired Connection and it's ready. And so I'm going to close these windows. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you. And like I said, if you have any problems with it, you can go back on the video and watch the steps over again. Or if you need any assistance, don't hesitate to call me and I'll be happy to help you with your connection to either the Wi-Fi or connecting the Ethernet to your World TV On Demand media player. So this is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. You guys have a great day and I'll have another video for you soon. See you later.